the United States Army Space and Missile Defense Command, Army Forces Strategic Command, traces its heritage to the Redstone Anti-Missile Missile System Office. Established by the Ordnance Corps on 3 October 1957, RAMSO was the first Army organization with a missile defense space mission. Assigned the highest national priority in 1958, the Chief of Ordnance appointed an executive agent of the Anti-Missile Missile Systems Program. Nike Zeus Development was assigned to the Army Rocket and Guided Missile Agency's Deputy Commander for Ballistic Missile and Space Defense. Under the auspices of the Nike Zeus Project Office, the Missile Defense Program demonstrated it was possible to hit a bullet with a bullet with the first intercept of the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, in 1962. One year later, Project Mudflap expanded the mission to include an anti-satellite capability a mission supported from Kwajalein Missile Range through 1968. Given the limitations of the Nike Zeus system, the Nike X program sought to develop the most technologically advanced components and techniques. Anticipating a production order, the Secretary of the Army also centralized all aspects of research and development, testing, production, training, and deployment under the Nike X Systems Manager, an organizational concept which would be retained through the mid-1980s. 1967 was a turning point for the program as the Soviet Union deployed a missile defense system and the People's Republic of China successfully launched a nuclear tipped missile. In response, the Secretary of Defense announced the deployment of the Sentinel system, which would protect urban industrial areas and provide a defense for the Air Force's Minutemen missile sites. In 1969, the new Nixon administration conducted an assessment of all strategic offensive and defensive priorities. As a result, Sentinel became the safeguard program the phase deployment would provide protection for Minutemen sites and increase coverage of the National Command region. The Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, however, restricted deployment to one location, the Stanley R. Mickerson Safeguard Complex in North Dakota. Days after achieving full operational capability, Congress terminated the program. Even as safeguard construction continued, the missile defense grew to incorporate the next generation of ballistic missile defense development. The new Ballistic Missile Defense Systems Command then oversaw safeguard deployment the next generation of site defense and technological research and development. With the end of safeguard and a ban on prototyping, the command addressed improvements in component technology, innovations in technology application, and a transition to non-nuclear and directed energy intercept concepts. With President Ronald Reagan's announcement of the Strategic Defense Initiative, the Army combined its missile defense missions into the newly created Strategic Defense Command. With its decades of experience in missile defense technology, this new command was given the lead in many aspects of the Star Wars program. Its capabilities were soon demonstrated with the first non-nuclear intercepts of an ICBM and tactical ballistic missiles in the homing overlay experiment and later flexible lightweight agile guided experiment. Change came again in 1992. The Cold War had ended. Operation Desert Storm had demonstrated the inherent benefits of space-based assets. Legislative requirements saw the transition of the command's program and project offices to a newly created program executive office. As an army began to consolidate its space missions, the new Space and Strategic Defense Command would serve as the army's focal point for space and missile defense matters. In 1997, the Army established a new major command, the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command. The Army specified proponent for space and national missile defense and the overall integrator for theater missile defense. At the same time, the command established a new battle lab to fully address the Army's dot mil PF requirements in space and missile defense. Since 1997, change has been a constant factor. The ABM Treaty was abolished, the ground-based mid-course defense system was deployed, and the global war on terror has engaged the command space and missile defense personnel 24-7, 365. 
To better meet the changing environment, the Department of Defense realigned its assets. In 2002, the command adopted its current designation to reflect its responsibilities to both the Department of the Army and the U.S. Strategic Command. In October 2006, USAMDC RSTRAT was officially designated the Army Service Component Command for U.S. Strategic Command, formalizing a relationship which has existed since 2002. As in the past, the command's missions have evolved to meet the needs of the nation. The USASMDC RSTRAT of today develops and provides current and future global space, missile defense, and high altitude capabilities to the Army, Joint Force, and our allies and partners to enable multi-domain combat effects, enhances deterrence, assurance, and detection of strategic attacks, and protects the nation.